hi everyone so in this video i'll be talking about the tools and scripts that i use in order to listen to music or i generally listen to lo-fi or synthwave so how you listen to those on youtube or uh, if you want to use some script to run the videos that you have in your offline library so the tool that i mainly use is uh, youtube viewer of course i do use the browser but when I listen to music, I prefer to have this running in the background. So here, uh, this is the um, CLI interface and you the tool also has a GUI. Let me get on a terminal here. Now, uh, this tool, you can directly run it from the terminal without any arguments and it leads you to a search prompt. Here you can search for the name of the video. And then it essentially searches YouTube and gives you the result. I'm going to choose the first video. So you see it launches a MPP window in order to show the in order to show the video and it also uh, as you saw previously it I showed a lot of information like the like the video description and all this information now when i am listening to music i do not really want to have this and um listening to, when doing listening you don't want a video to pop up there because it would be consuming your data and then um well when listening to the audio i don't want the video so what i do is i have created a bash alias which is a YTP. So, uh, also one more thing is that you can launch YouTube Viewer with the search arguments directly here. Like I'm going to use here. I'm going to search for Lo-Fi Nights Lo-Fi Night Music. So, you see, it gave me uh, these uh, uh, results directly. I'm going to choose uh, number 9. So, uh, you see, now uh, once this launches, I can I can turn it, I can make it floating and then send it to the background. And then I can continue with whatever work I'm doing here. So, uh, this is it. This is what I use. Now, how did I... Um, how did I uh, get this prompt? So, uh, this text that you see here, this is MPV, but this is running in the no video mode. So, this can be configured uh, using YouTube Viewer configuration file. So, let me launch that. So, this is the config file. Here, I can search for this. Okay. So you see, uh, this is where um, you would configure the me the video or audio players that we have. Now, if you have VLC installed, then you can launch it with an argument. Uh, so let me see that argument. So if we launch man YouTube viewer, I don't know if it has a man page. Yeah, it does. So here you can. There is an argument. Yeah. So you see this is the video players okay so i think this is it let me actually check my okay so you you can specify the player in this way so as you can see i have uh, created a player which is mpv but with a special argument so this is the default mpv uh, which is real uh, which has the arguments really quiet and then uh, title and no download and then here I have forced it to have a, a default lower volume it will run in no video mode and then uh, um, MPV shows uh, quite a lot of error messages if your network is slow so I am I am suppressing those here and the rest is the same and you can configure it and use any special MPV arguments that you want to have here 
and um, as per as the arguments that I use for YouTube viewer this is dash n so I think dash n uh, makes it to not display the description that you saw previously it shows the video IDs and the video description so dash n will disable that so if we look here search for dash n I think uh, this is you need to look at the dash help for that okay let me pipe that to bat dash n okay so you see dash n so dash n okay dash n only plays actually uh, it only plays the audio and then if i look at what other i have so dash no video info is what will remove the description and dash n will only uh, will stop it from showing the video window so uh, if you want to have the same experience as what i do with my bachelor's or ytp then you can uh, do this and then introduce uh, the mpvt player in the configurations okay uh, so moreover i must uh, mention that uh, if you are going to use uh, youtube viewer then you need to uh, get the api key from youtube and then add it i think you will uh, get yeah so here are the inst instructions you need to do and i think the readme is quite good okay the next thing is uh, for offline i have here i have a menu so you see i press my key binding and this opens up so here in this menu i essentially have the app image and the uh, and the electron native uh, like uh, this is the notion notion website that i have converted into a nativefier app so and then i have kaden live and this is the script that i am talking about So you see, uh, th uh, this launches a mini MPV instance, which is a floating window. I can move it to the second monitor if I want, bring it back. And then uh, if I launch, if I don't like the video that is uh, being played, I can launch it again. And then it launches a different video. It plays a random video uh, that I have uh, stored in my directory so as you can see here so this is this is the collection that i currently have and uh, you can add more or if you want you can store uh, you can store the video ids let me show you what the script is so uh, this is the script First, I define the path where the videos are stored, and then, in case um, the MPV, uh, this is the window name that I give it. If it is already running, this is the X11 name. So, based on uh, the name, it kills it if it is already running, and then it uh, runs it at a lower volume, and then checks if it is MKV, MP4, or a WebM file. You can add more extensions if you want, and this is uh, and this is for shuffling so that uh, it does not follow any uh, specific sequence and launches them randomly so if you want uh, instead of uh, looking through the file directory here you can um, go ahead and store the video ids in a file and then use mpv to launch uh, directly and directly a video from youtube 